So one of the one of the things that we do at my podcast is called the Best Life Podcast, and one of the things we talk about a lot is honest communication. Obviously, that was a huge piece of my journey, and I find that it's so hard for people to honestly say what it what's on their mind to their partner or to their coworker or to their boss or whatever because they're constantly worried about how it's going to be perceived and to your point like telling someone they need to change is never going to be met with positivity right but you can state your preferences and it's not so that they'll agree with you it's so that they can know, right? Because if, if you don't tell them, they don't know. And they may or may not be able to take it on. They may or may not be able to change as a result. But it's for you to practice stating your needs and then just letting the chips fall. And so I have like a really, I don't know if you guys are interested, but I have like a 3S system that I teach my clients. And it's how to have an honest conversation to, to bring up something that you are, you know, kind of swallowing and not allowing yourself to bring up in a relationship. So the first S is set the stage. This is when you tell them that you're really, that you're feeling vulnerable that you're kind of scared to bring this up because you're worried about their response, you're worried about how they're going to take it, you don't want to hurt their feelings, but you really want to bring up something and you're, you feel really vulnerable. So when you do that, you kind of get them on your team ahead of time versus like in the in the heat of an argument being like, you need to do this, like that's never going to be like when it's high emotion. So find that place when it's like emotionally neutral and say, hey, I really want to talk about something. I've been a little bit nervous to bring it up because I'm just, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I feel like I really want to share it with you gets them on your team a little bit, it's like an icebreaker. The second S is just state your truth as as clearly as you know it in that moment, because we know that truth is evolving. Like we just know like what we feel in the moment now, you're gonna state it as clearly as you possibly can. And then the last part's the hardest part, and that is stick it out. Stick it out like, ah, like I wanna manage their response and I wanna, like they're gonna get angry or they're gonna get disappointed or they're gonna have their, you know, whatever response that they're gonna have and take it on, they're gonna get defensive and you need to allow for them to have that. And so, cause that's the whole part of it is trying not to change what you're going to say to consider them, to state it as clear as you can. And to me, honesty is a service, honesty without cruelty, right? Honesty with empathy. But I think that honesty is inclusive. I think when you talk about affairs, that's the, the part that is the most hurtful. It's not the actual physical act. It's the exclusivity. You didn't have all the information. I wish that it ha I had known when it was going on so I would have had a choice in the matter. And so to me, honesty is inclusive and it's a gift. It's like the best thing you can do to the people that you say you love. And I think the important thing to realize is that everyone processes that truth differently. And a lot of times when we, you know, truth bomb someone yeah. and we, we share what we're feeling, their reaction, if it doesn't go as planned, you know, can frustrate us and, sure. and we become very selfish and like, well, no, I want you to hear this and I want you to change. And realize that some people are going to take it very silently and they're going to have to process it. Maybe not in the moment. It may take days, weeks, even months for it to fully hit them. Some people are going to be very reactive to yeah. it and, and maybe even blow up, but it doesn't mean you're not heard. Yeah. And I think that's, we oftentimes we project what we expect is going to happen. And then when it doesn't happen, we're like, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I, I shouldn't, shouldn't have be honest. It up. Exactly. I'm just not, see, I can't even bring it up. And I know, you know, Throughout my relationship, Amy has been honest with me and then honest when my reactions have disappointed her and I've had to explain like this is how I process the information and I just want you to understand that the behavior change and the actions that follow in the days, weeks and months after are a lot more important than my reaction in the moment Yeah, because the way I was conditioned and grew up is I was the passive recipient of anger and yelling. <laughs> so me shutting down and processing is just how I've come to deal with it. Yep. It doesn't mean I'm not going to change and it certainly doesn't mean I'm not listening. Yeah, there's been, I mean, we've been working together for 12 years and obviously not everything is going to go easily, especially in the beginning when or you're duking it out just to try to create something and make something happen. But, you know, in those times, there's been... Uh, conversations we had to have with each other and it's like it always we would always do this the, the one thing it's like listen I'm going to tell you some things in the moment right now you do not have to answer and I'm not expecting an answer all I and in fact all I want is for you just to hear what I'm going to say and take a few days with it yep. and, then, and then let's have a conversation about it and it's like here's what I'm thinking and it's like I don't like any what you just said <laughs> so but I'm going to take it home yep. and I'm going to stew on it and then it's like you go through the emotional theater and it's like you get worked up, but then you're able to work through. It's like, OK, cool. Th there's a point there. I have an argument for that. That piece there we need to discuss. And it's like, well, great. We are now moving beyond just those initial feelings. And now we can get to somewhere where we're both happy, because if two people sit down and are adults and can communicate and articulate their issues, then there should be a win win here. And if we're fighting for the same thing, then, well, then it should be easy for us to find that. Yep. 
Yeah, I think it's one of those things where you have to, like the first time that you have that really uncomfortable, and I love you guys, have, obviously you worked together for such a long time, you've had those instances. Every single person who I'm close with in my life, we've had those moments of like, ah, I could easily not bring this up, right? I could easily like not do the thing. But when you engage in that difficult, kind of awkward even conversation at times, it really does deepen the connection. Mm-hmm. And it really, and it's a trust builder in the relationship. Like I know that you won't run away from like, I don't want you to be resentful. I trust that what you tell me, I take what you say at face value. And that's a huge trust piece. 